What's up, Madden 25 gamers? In this Madden 25 defensive tip, we're going to be taking a look at the 3-4 over formation, and we're going to take a look at our scheme of the week. The formation breakdown we're going to be looking at, again, is from the 3-4 playbook. can be found in the 3-4 over formation. The team we're using is the Indianapolis Colts, and the play breakdown we're going to be looking at is our base zone coverage from this 3-4. Uh, let me pull it up right here. I have it as the cover 6 from this 3-4 over. Um... And uh, cover six from the three-four over, I like it because the zones, the zones play a little bit better than they do from just a standard cover six, in my opinion, because of what I like to call flow coverage. Basically, flow coverage uses the idea that everybody's in a position, and so they're gonna they're gonna flow to where they're gonna cover. So, for example, this like this deep blue zone, Davis is gonna start in this position, and then he's gonna flow right there. So that's like a line. Imagine that as a, a straight path line to that spot. Imagine the same thing for Landry. Straight back line. Straight line. That is going to give you the flight pattern of each individual player. So, when looking at this as a nice base zone look, what we want to do here is, um, out of our 3-4 over formation, our, our blitzing look, we like to shift the line to the left. Uh, and so for the zone look, it, it really isn't that much different. We like to, um, uh, I think I need to baseline this. Yeah, I do need to baseline this. So, um, but for the zone look, as you see this yellow zone to Angerer, and you see this hook zone to Connor, they're going to flow right into these positions. This purple zone is going to flow out here. How do we get this right side seam? If you look at the tight end here, this this tight end, what we need, we don't have anyone over him. Well, what we do is the follow. We're going to take Butler. We're going to put him in a hook zone. We're going to man align, and then we're going to base align. And that is now going to have that hook zones are now rebalanced. And now we have a really hot uh, cover six here. Four down linemen. Uh, we're just going to re-blitz that right outside linebacker if we have time. And you see the, the g general basic pressure we could send from the cover six. Now the beauty of this, if you wanted to, and this is actually something I really like to do um, from this formation, is I'll um, do the yellow and do that. And then what I'll do is I'll take this um, uh, redding here. I'll put him in a flat zone reason I'll do that is because that's going to contain the quarterback rollout to the right side. Then I'll put Franklin in a quarterback spy. And then I'll re-blitz Mathis. And these adjustments are what I use to generate a better pass rush. You see Mathis come clean off that edge. Look at that crazy pass rushing move he did on the, the tackle there. So that's our basic coverage. That's cover six, guys. And um, that's our zone look. It looks like our two-man under because we're going to use base align and press to make it look the same. And then we're going to use these man line tricks, and we're going to use these spies and flats. And this is going to provide a very confusing zone look to our opponent. If they try to throw to the seams, guys, check that out. They try to throw to the seams, Pat Anger is going to be sitting right there. So enjoy this zone defense as a complement to your man defense, and we'll talk about how to stop the run from the 3-4 tomorrow.